Cruiser here. On my way to another make and take here in the Cincinnati Tri-State area. Home Hunters of Southern Ohio. And today we are going to be building a floodlight. Uh, it's a fairly simple process. Um, the design that we're doing today was created by Sparky and our group. And that's what we will be building. Um, I will be posting another tutorial later um, showing me build the floodlight from Holiday Coral. Um, that's H O L I D A Y C O R O dot com. They have a kit that you can buy for, I think it's $25. It gets your LEDs, your backing, and everything. There's a video on there that shows you exactly what all you get and how to do it. Today I'll be using a 44 channel controller that I got off of eBay um, under $10 for the controller. I think it was like $7 something like that. And uh, you can also use a DMX controller. Now when you buy the kit from Holiday Coral um, you get a DMX controller. So if you do not have a DMX programmer or are not using DMX for anything else, you'll need to get this other controller, this 44 or 24 channel controller, or you can use a prop controller. Um, I believe Sparky's actually using a prop one controller from, uh, uh, is it uh, EFXTX? I'll put the link to their description in the, uh, I'll put the link to their website in the description. Who's these people? What I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to use the 44 channel controller because I don't have a prop controller, a prop one controller, and I don't have a um, DMX programmer, so I'm going to use the 44 channel, which it's, it has a remote, it's got colors and everything on the remote you'll see in the video. It's a very simple process to do. So as I said, I'm on the way to the Mega Take. Um, I will record some information and then you will see it later. Okay, we're leaving the make and take and um, let's see, I got the video camera. I've got the light. I've got the plastic case that's got uh, like the heat gun and the glue gun and all that stuff in it. I know what I forgot. I forgot the case that has all my components to make my red, green, blue floodlight, or red, blue, green, whichever it is. You know what I'm talking about. I cannot believe I left the main things that I need at the house. Talking about a brain fart. So this video is going to be continued. I am going to take and uh, work on this probably next couple of days which might actually have delayed my column video and if you're watching this you're still watching it after the column video was uploaded but I cannot believe I left the parts to what I was building at the house one case I left at the house and of all things I could, I could have left the one case and still did my project. But no, I gotta leave the case that's got all the components. It's got the controllers in it. It's got the heat shrink tubes in it. It's got my power uh, plugs in it. I couldn't do anything. Boy, oh boy, you're talking about a brain fart. I had a brain fart today. So, this video will be continued. This video will be continued try this again. This video will be continued. So let's pick up a few days later when I'm actually making the light. Okay, we're going to get this floodlight built that I wasn't able to do it to make a take because I left everything at the house. Boy, is that a bone fart thing to do. But uh, a couple quick things here. I got a, you might be a hunter if and you say this, 
you might be a haunter if it is April 9th and you still have your casket sitting in your side yard. As you can see, it is my casket. This is my fog chiller. It's still sitting in my side yard. And here it is, April 9th. Yeah, almost 80 degrees here today. You can hear the wind in the background. So I think I need to get that out of the grass so my grass will grow. I can guarantee that grass is dead there. Second, very important. If you are interested in getting one of my shirts, you have four shirts to choose from. You have white, you have safety green, safety orange, and safety pink. The safety pink has been really popular with the ladies. So I am placing that order this Friday in the afternoon. So the deadline to order your shirt is Friday 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, if you contact me after that, I cannot guarantee you that I will be able to add your shirt to the order. Okay, shirts are $13 for small, medium, and large, $15 for 2XL to 6XL. That's right, folks, I'm offering shirts from the size of small to 6XL. So, here's your chance to get your shirt. I will be placing this order Friday, so you know there's no inventory on my end, so that's why my shirts are really cheap. I'm not doing this to make money, there's no profit off these shirts. I am the shirts run from eight and a quarter to ten and a quarter, depending on the size. Then I have the dollar donation that goes to St. William St. Vincent de Paul. And then you gotta pay for the shipping. So as you can see, you know, you take an $8 shirt, make it $9.25, then you gotta add the shipping on there. So get your shirt. Now on to the floodlight build. Here's the floodlight we're gonna use for this build. Uh, I got this floodlight at Home Depot and it was $6.88. Um, so there's no need of you going out and taking and buying another floodlight for $10. This works just as well. And uh, you can almost get two of these for the price of one of these elsewhere. So let's go ahead and get this gutted and we will get started. Okay, now this one here does not come with a on-off switch in the back of it, but I've got one I've taken off, or should I say taken off an old one right here that I'm going to use. Um, you can see I've already went ahead and drilled a hole through this one here off the other light and put this on so it's a waterproof switch. Uh, although I don't know if the switch works or not, it come off an old light, but we will find out shortly. That right there out of the way. So now basically you just want to start taking everything out of this. Holiday Coral, or I keep saying Coral, it's Cora, C-O-R-O, -O, so it's Holiday Coral, C-O-R-O dot com. They actually have a kit you can buy, and this is the kit here, or this is part of the kit I should say. You got your 10 LEDs, um, you get the backer board that you fasten them to. Uh, they're already wired together, so you just got to put them on here straight. There's little holes. Uh, I want to try to show you, you won't be able to see them, but there's little holes, holes on this board so it helps you line up the LEDs so they're straight. And like I said, they're already wired together so it saves you a lot of time. Uh, we got some part of a group by, and that's these here. Now, these actually come with the, the pin on it, and then this here was bought separately. If you can 
see that or not, there you go. This was purchased separately, you can find all this stuff on eBay. But, um, they got these also from Holiday Coral. And, uh, they're already wired together. These actually came in a strip of 20, so there was one of these on both ends, already wired. And uh, so we basically just took and cut them, you know, cut them in half, cut the wire in half, and that way you don't have to worry about it because everybody will have their own leader. Um, this this is the board that Sparky came came up with. Um, it's like it's like a hard cardboard, uh, almost like um, underlayment. And the size he has these cut at is, see that one is six and an eighth by three and a quarter. So this is six and an eighth by three and a quarter. And again, it's that, you know, it's real thin, just like under, if you have any underlayment laying around, you can use that. Um, I don't know how well the LEDs will stick to the um, the shiny side and I can't tell you but with these LEDs here that you get with the kit each one of these has a um, double side tape already fastened to it so you just pull it off and you take and fasten them on here with these here um, I don't know if Sparky put the double side tape on these or if they did I'm thinking they might have, but again, I'm not for sure. But you can see a double side tape there, so you can just peel this off. And one thing I like about this here is because if you want to, you know, make some kind of circle out of these LEDs, I mean, with a double sided tape, you can take and roll these things into a circle. So it gives you a lot of uh, different choices. I mean, you know, you got a barrel right there of LEDs and just imagine the things you could do with that or you can use the longer ones and just take and you know get a, a larger barrel out of it let's go ahead and finish getting this taken apart now I will tell you now that I am a newbie when it comes to soldering so I'll probably be doing a lot of video editing. Um, what I like to do is take the water seal or gasket that goes around here, put it back inside the lid so it doesn't get damaged or anything, and just set that aside. Inside here, you got a bunch of wires. We are going to just take all that apart. I'll unscrew the ground wire. Actually, so take your screws and set them inside the lid like this so they won't roll around on you. Now, inside here is, see there's two screws there? That is holding this wire in place. So, you want to keep that. So, do not get rid of that. Just take it off and set it aside so it allows you to do what you need to do. So now you got wires coming from inside it, but let's go ahead and take the inside apart before we go any further. Here's a light bulb. Um, in case you got any, any other floodlights, work lights, keep this. Do not touch this bulb with your fingers because the oil on your fingers will cause this bulb to blow. Anytime you replace one of these bulbs, always have, use a rag, a shirt, or something, but do not touch these bulbs with your fingers. Okay, we've got a screw inside here. I'm going to take that off. Okay, this is trash. Recycle. What do you want to do with it? Now you got this. We're going to take all this out of here. 
So just start on screwing everything you see. These screws here, do not lose them because I, um, I believe that our controller will screw to that. See how that's loose. Let's get you some little wire cutters. Okay, that's trash. Cut these right here. So then we can pull these through here. And there's the wires we just had inside there. Now just take this other bit of wiring off. Okay, so now there's your empty housing. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these wires and stuff out of here. Unscrew this nut here. And let's see, we need to cut this, cut these off because they have um, wire nuts on them. Now, what I like to do is don't cut your wire way down here. Cut it right at the wire nut because you can use this wire for other things. I mean, you now you've got. Here's the plug. So now you can make you a small outlet, a four gain or two gain outlet or anything like that that you would need. So what we need to do is get this piece here off of here. So then that rubber gasket just slides right off. Then that slides right off. Okay, now we have our housing it's completely gutted. Okay, now there's two controllers. This is a DMX controller. Okay, this comes with your kit. When you buy this together, it comes with the kit and a few other things. Okay, you need a programmer to program this, which I do not have. So, but now, when someday I do get a programmer, I've already got one of these. So what I am going to be using is this. It's got an infrared. Here, this here connects to your board. Remember those little plugs? A little plug I showed you a minute ago. This right here. This connects to here. Now I want to show you something. This is very important. Okay. See if you can see this. You see that little arrow? You got to make sure that these arrows go together. If these arrows do not go together, then you're going to get them backwards. Because see, they will fit, but then your arrows are off. See how that's off? What this arrow means is this is your black wire, which is actually your common, okay? This is what the black wire is what you're going to use to take and connect to your switch. Because the other three are for the the red, the green, and the blue. And these lights here, I believe the uh the let's see here. Yeah, the yellow on these lights, that's what gets connected. Uh, I've seen some that's got black, that's the reason why I said that, but this is actually yellow. Actually, you can see it right there. If, um, let's see, let me try it this way. See it right there? See how it's black? Okay, so actually, it's not the. the there we go. 
We got the wrong one. See how it's black? So you got your red, your green, and your blue there. So that means the yellow wire is going to be the common on these. That's why all the rest of them are yellow. But because this is a plug in, this is the the black wire. So if you was going to hook it up to this, then you would need to this here. See how this is the DMX controller, and they have red. Right, let me fix. Let me straighten these wires up so you can see them. Okay, there we go. So you got red, green, blue, then white. So they're telling you white's your common on this DMX controller, which that's, that's how it is. It's because the red and the green and the blue is being fed the hot. So um, there's not a whole lot of soldering to do with this here, but uh, I will take and fasten this inside of here. Spread.